Hello, welcome. It's nice to meet you. Yes, so I actually have here that you are wanting some. Uh, wait, can I get your name one more time? Hmm. And your appointment was for this time? Oh, could I get your last name? Perfect. There you are. Okay, so my notes here say that um, you want to maybe get some fine items for an outside kind of barbecue get-together, but very classy kind. Mm -hmm. This is a paid for event. Okay, well, um, and you were thinking maybe class, even though it's outside. Okay, yeah, you know what? We do have several class items um, that actually might be pretty durable for an outside kind of event, especially if or people can to be milling around or sitting maybe. A little bit of both. Okay, are you gonna have um, just soft drinks or are you going to maybe have some liqueur and um, some beer and maybe some other kind of like yummy mixed drinks okay are there going to be children okay alrighty um, in that case I think okay and so color is not kind of an issue because you are looking maybe for some glass are you okay for some glass items. Alrighty, no problem. Okay, well, um, I did pick out a few um, because I was reading through, so I always pull a couple of um, our store items um, that are here so that I can demo our demo items. Um, we do have all of these that I am going to show you in store today. So if you do have your heart set on one, we can definitely get that um, Get that going for you um if you don't really like any of what i am showing you please don't be concerned we do have many many more many many more choices um especially if you're a little bit worried after looking at them and seeing that they are glass and you know just kind of really evaluating what your needs are um and especially cost match and you know things like that Alrighty, so we're going to start Alrighty, let's get this party started. So first, I want to show you, because you did say you might have some mixed drinks. This is our tumbler. It's uh, just most basic type. You did say you kind of are on a little bit of a budget, so I don't want to break that budget by any means. You didn't tell me exactly what your budget was, but um, as soon as somebody says budget, I think like, you know, nice very classy but definitely not anything that we are custom making so this is our non-customized tumbler it's very tall it holds um 16 ounces um with ice if you fill it up to here then it holds 10. Mm -hmm. One of the major benefits to this glass item is that it does have a very, um, a pretty narrow opening at the top so it is easier um, to not spill it and it has a very heavy bottom. It's almost like as heavy as a paperweight. So that's one of the reasons I pulled this out for you since you said you did want to do barbecue kind of. But still wanted maybe a cust like a nice glass kind of um, drink set for that. And it um, has a wider base than the top. So it helps when you have maybe a little bit younger crowd. The only thing I worry about just a little bit with this glass is the condensation. Because there is no way to like have a grippy on it. Especially if there's some condensation. Mm -hmm. So 
what do you think about that? Okay. No problem. Perfect. I'll set this one down over here. The next one. Are you are going to be having wine? Maybe. It's a definite maybe. Okay. Would you like to incorporate some wine glasses just in case? Because you do know that the the timbre of wine is changed. Um, if it does not have enough oxygen to get to it, you never really um, can tell the the notes, the undernotes, and the actual flavor, especially um, if it's more of a berry influenced. Some spicier vines, like some Cabernet Sauvignons, they are very nice because you do have um, a little bit of a spicier kind of taste to them, so that does bring it up more. But if you're thinking very light, maybe a white wine or a berry wine. Um, and even a really rich deep wine, maybe something like Justin, um, I would definitely consider doing a wine glass specifically because um, you want them. If you're going to pay for, you know, nicer wine, um, why not let them taste the wine, you know what I mean? And unlike all of our other options, you can just buy um, individual wine glasses because we do know that not everyone likes wine. It's not always everyone's cup of tea. Um, <laughs> cup of tea, cup of wine. Uh, but it does have a nice round base. Um, it's one of our models that does not have a stem. As you can see, no stem. Um, we find that it is easier for outside, kind of to not have a stem on our wine glasses. If you were doing it inside, it might be a different story. Um, and this is the only size that we have though for the non-stem. The other ones that do have stems, we do carry a smaller um, eight ounce and a five ounce cup. Um, and they just have, maybe one of them has a little bit of a wider bowl. Um, mm -hmm. And you know, uh, we don't have a sommelier um, here at our uh, place of business, but uh, if you are looking for someone to maybe talk to you about some wine options, we we'll definitely have a couple of cards that you could totally have and uh, you can go meet with them. It's totally free to have the uh, meeting with them. It's about a 15 minute meeting just seeing what your needs are what your taste preferences are and then if you have any worries about um, any sort of wines that you don't know if the general population would like they definitely have more of a natural not natural it takes a long time and it's very hard work but they do have more of a, a palette for knowing what people genuine generally go for mm -hmm. Alrighty, and those are our wines. Okay, put that down. The next thing I pulled, because I didn't exactly know if you are going to have liquors, um, and it seems like you are. Yes, I guess everything seems like it's a little bit up in the air still. I mean, that's no problem at all. But we do, I did pull this in case you were wondering if you wanted to have any martinis. Um, this does have a stem and it's very thick and this is our heaviest model for our wine glasses and I am pulling heavier models because they seem to be able to balance better for you so this holds quite a lot of wine a lot of people um, or companies say that they don't like this one in particular because it holds so much um, you know it is a pretty deep bowl um, and it's pretty wide also um, so if you're thinking that that might not be as much as you want to serve people especially if you're scared someone might get a little bit out of control because martinis are mostly you know alcohol um, the alcohol content are, is very high um, 
and the sugar content can be very high too so i cannot have very many martinis in a night because otherwise i wake up with a, a very big headache although i do love me a good beer and sometimes i do love me a good martini especially if it has bitters Ooh, so good but um they're bitter because i like to drink bitter because they're they're it's like my heart a little bit bitter um okay so this is what we have to offer for that i did just want to see if you thought this might be for you mm -hmm. well if you really weren't thinking about it before i definitely would say maybe not go with the martini glasses unless are you having an actual bartender at this event mm -hmm. well here's the reason i ask because people can go through martinis very very fast i mean it's just very easy for them to especially if they're pretty sugary and tasty So if you don't want to be, I mean, if you don't have an actual bartender and they're self-serving, people can always serve themselves. And if you don't want to be stuck, you know, behind a bar all night, kind of catering your event, I would say don't. Mm -hmm. But if you are pretty versed on it, you can do it very fast, or you do have someone that is there specifically for um, mixing drinks etc then I would say you know we do order these um you can get these in four per order and the wines are one or more um price is a little bit higher if you order one per piece you know price per piece is a little bit higher if you only order one so the more you order the better the prices do get but um for this one it's four in each and for the first one we do place those orders in orders of five ten twenty mm -hmm. we definitely lean towards the um ten or more um and you get the best price point at, at 20 but you can order after 10 you can order in twos so it's 10 12 14 16 etc like that until 20 and then you would have to keep doing it by twos mm -hmm. and then for our last one uh if you're kind of going a little bit more country we definitely would say this would be a perfect little piece it's kind of it's just a glass and it has these ripples in it so it's much easier to hold than the original tumbler it's not as heavy as the original tumbler and it doesn't get water at bottom versus top it is the same size throughout this holds 16 ounces also and i love um and then also with this if it is like a specific party or something i am i pulled this one but oh i don't know if you can see it but there is nothing written right here and there is no um of these kind of poppy up things so you could write in permanent marker like a silver or a gray many many people do that for weddings like mr blah blah or mrs blah blah or even put two last names on there you know so it's just a little way to personalize or you could even if it is like a barbecue you could even do barbecue 2000 you know 15 
me personally for a barbecue I would say this would be your best bet on something that looks the part is pretty cheap um, and it's actually the cheapest per unit comparable to these down here um, I would say that depending on how many people you are having and how many people you are expecting to drink some wine I would order maybe four or five wine glasses um, if you're going to have quite a few people I would definitely increase that because um, you never know exactly what people would want and then I would just order at least one of these per person because if nobody drinks wine, you know, I know somebody will, you know, because everyone, you know, people like to pretend they're way classier than they are, especially me. I drink like barefoot um, and <laughs> I'm just like, oh, I'm so classy walking around here with my wine glass and really I'm just like a drunkie. So I also love how this one looks it just has a little bit extra to it almost is it's so it's very country but it almost is classier because of the um, little bit that you have on there that is a decoration for the glass and it's also a conversation piece you know um, People may say, oh, did you use these? Where did you get them? Things like that. With normal kind of generic glasses, that's not always the case. You know. I'll let you take a few minutes and maybe meditate on what you think would be the best for your situation. I'm going to leave a little bit. You think about it. You can touch them. You can kind of just see how you like the feel of them in your own hands. And I'll be back in just a few moments, okay? Okay, no problem. And of course, there is no pressure right now to do anything. Even if it was just to look, I'm very happy to have served you. Yes. And if you do want that card for that wine, um, Somier, I can definitely get that for you also. That's no pressure again. No pressure. Just whenever you are. 
already uh, you can give us a call uh, I know that this is a very um, sometimes very hard to get uh, things you imagine in your head out into the world so I uh, I definitely know uh, that it will look and be beautiful even more beautiful than you're describing in your um, brain so so I'm excited for you and your party and I'll be back in a few moments okay okay good night